Hey, Design HD here, and I'm here to bring you a Desmond mission of December 1st, 2012. And let's go, let's begin. There's a lot of people in here. Copy now. Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find the ticket. Cert, we don't have time to entrar. play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. Yeah, let's try that. Let's just try to sneak past the security. <clears throat> Doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Abstergo agents, don't let them see you. Hey, no problem. No, they saw me. Aquele cara tá maluco. Alguém está para segurança. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Your target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of this concourse. Great. You've set up a checkpoint. Ah, okay. Doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Hide. 
Okay. Shit. There's got to be a way to slip past them. Side room, maybe? Hallway? Something? Great. They've set up a checkpoint. Get close to the crowd and you should be okay. Or look for a way around it. Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. I mean, who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. Did you what if it? I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone if you do. Ah, huh, that was easy. I hope this is the right way. That was kind of easy. Almost there, Desmond. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side? It's best to use your ego vision. Really close. 
close now. The power source should be in one of the rooms up here. Ah, oh, my ear. Well, maybe I was going the right way. Holy crap, people are busting through windows and stuff. What the hell? That was kind of intense. Oh, I have to go to the other power core where I had to go to the other time over there. We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. Yeah, rather power up the power core first. Things over here. I haven't been here in a while. It's 
sorry I wasn't talking that much in this video. I was kind of th trying to think and focus and try to be really stealthy at the same time. I guess I can't go through that way. I'm almost there. I think this is it. Started this time. It's fun of me. I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know. Maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them. But not for you. Sealed. To protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us. But what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous? Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. Alright. Let me check this other place over here, since it just opened up right here. Okay, I guess, uh... Okay, never mind, I guess I won't be able to go that way yet. Let me check with the other guys. I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, 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 your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry, it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done. Unbelievable. What's up? 
Your politicians are constantly referencing the Founding Fathers and insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another. I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How can anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off scraps of paper and wishful thinking? They're looking for intent. What these men envisioned for our country and its future. Idealistic and unlikely. I don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought. They just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals. Who cares if they were deists or theists or wanted a central bank? Why do people need the validation? What should matter is what you, as an individual, believe, and why you believe it. What, are we so insecure that we have to find 18th century letters to validate our beliefs? Oh, look, Mum, a dead man agreed with me. Maybe. If you transpose the letters in his shopping list, you can plainly see he was on my side. Jesus, Sean. That's a cynical way to look at it. Doesn't make it less true. Right, well, this is the end of this mission, and I'm about to go back and tie the animus. This is on uh, HD. Until again, till next time, I'll see you then. Peace.